what we're going to do here is a bit of pan fried sea bass. <clears throat> this is a bass I caught earlier. This is not going to be a common occurrence on this channel. It's very rare I keep bass. But I thought I'd keep one just to show you how to do a pan fried bass. There is a filleting video on the channel for filleting bass. So if you want to know how to fillet it, go and watch that video. Then come back to this one and we'll show you how I can do a pan fried sea bass. Anyway, that's the fish, all deboned. No, but no bones anywhere. All the pin bones are gone, all the rib bones are gone. On the skin side, I've sliced all the skin. As you can see there, look. This helps crisp the skin up in the pan. When we fry it, we fry it skin side down. What we'll do now is chuck on some salt and some pepper. Sea salt here. You don't need to go crazy, and I would not go crazy on the pepper. It will spoil the flavour. Just a little tiny bit of pepper. Really, you want white. I've only got black. So just a little sprinkle of pepper. Flip it over. Same on the skin side. Bit of pepper. And salt. Just like that. That's ready to go in the pan. I'll spin you around now and show you what I've got in the pan. Right, in the pan here, I've got some salted butter and olive oil. When you're melting butter, you need to use a little bit of olive oil to stop the butter burning. You want this pan quite hot. It's a bit like cooking steak, I suppose. This is like a griddle pan. It's got little ridges in it, but a frying pan will be totally fine. You do not want this butter burning. If you look, it's a nice yellowy colour. If it starts to go black, you're burning your butter. There we go. Get ready now to put the bass in. Very similar to cooking steak. When you put the bass in, lay it here and place it away from you. Stop any hot splashes of fat. Skin side down, we'll put it in now. And what you can do is put a bit of pressure on the fish. It'll help to stop it curling up. Just for a few seconds, watch your fingers. You can use a spatula to do this if you want to. Just like this. Literally takes two to three minutes to cook. That's it. We'll leave that now, sizzling away, just like that. We'll turn the heat down a touch. It was on full, I'm probably on three quarters now. And that's it. Leave it cooking like that. You'll start to see the fish turning white around the edges. You want to cook it for around two minutes to two and a half minutes on the skin side. And then give it a flash on the meat side. You don't want to burn the fish. I'll bring you back in a minute or so. That's been cooking for around a minute now. So what I'm going to do is baste the fish with the juices on the meat side. Keeps the meat. It keeps the fish nice and moist. So you baste some of this butter and oil over it. Just like that. Do it occasionally. Don't want to go crazy on it. But it'll keep the fish nice and moist. It won't dry out. As you can see now, it's only been a minute and it's cooked quite far up those sides. Even here, it's starting to cook in the centre of the fish. Just leave it sizzling away. Basically what you're aiming for is a nice crispy skin. You want it to go a little bit black, a little bit of crisp on it. That'll be nice then. We'll give this another minute and we'll be flipping it over for a little while. This has had now around two minutes on the skin side. As you can see, this meat is starting to cook from the skin side. I haven't actually flipped it over yet. So what we'll do, we'll get this flipped over and we'll cook the meat side for around 30 to 40 seconds probably. The skin should be nice and crispy. Get this fish flipped over now. This should be nice and crispy. Just like that. And you can see that. It's all nice and crispy up there. Now you're cooking the meat side. Baste the skin side. Get some of this hot butter and oil in there. It helps to crisp it up a little bit more. That's probably had around 20 seconds. It won't be much longer and that will be ready to come out. That will be long enough. This will be cooked. Totally fine. Be careful with it, it's going to fall apart. It's going to be very delicate. You want to check the fish, you can flip it over, but you can see that is cooked perfectly. And as you can see right there, that is perfectly fried, crispy, pan fried sea bass. 
Took around two and a half to three minutes to cook. It's nice and flaky. Look at that in there. Absolutely perfect. This one is for the wife. She wanted chips with us, homemade chips. But that is it. Very quick, very simple, and it is quite tasty. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time.